Right. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Wilson Mori. I'm the current president of the Zimbabwe Institute of Geomatics. Uh, I was invited by the Youth Network though, at a short notice to, to give an update of uh, my trip in Hanoi as well as trying to align myself with their theme for today's GeoChat, which is presence in the Geomatics Global Community by Zimbabwe Institute of Geomatics, which is ZIG. Um, I would also want to say I've got a bit of flu. I've been traveling uh, a lot, so I believe uh, <coughs> you hear me clearly because my voice is a bit stable with the flu. But I, I will try by all means so that everyone can hear me clearly um, as I use the 30 minutes which I've been allocated to. Um, as I've mentioned, um, I'm as the current president of the Zimbabwe Institute of Geomatics, I went to Hanoi, Vietnam for the International Federation of um, Surveyors. FIG uh, on behalf of Zimbabwe Institute of Geomatics. Um, the, the, the conference actually was running uh, for a week. So I was, I was in Vietnam for, for a week. I, I'm not going to share uh, much in terms of the, the, the everyday uh, deliberations, but what I'll try to do is I'll try to align myself with the theme from the youth network, which is our presence, the presence of ZIG in the Geomatics global community. Um, I think that was basically the reason why um, I was also tasked to go and represent the institute at international level. <coughs> um, maybe to just give a, a, a brief uh, history about the, the institute. Um, the institute uh, got registered last year um, in March. Then um, immediate registration we had an AGM in August. Um, that was in August in Harare. Uh, so we, we had an AGM which was running with, with, the conference, with the conference. And we also had the Geomatics Youth uh, Week where we were appearing on newspapers, um, radio, and as well as ZTV. So from last year, we started to embark on awareness and, and, and visibility uh, at national level as well as at international level. So today uh, I'm going to talk about our presence at international level. Um, as you may be aware, Zimbabwe Institute of Geomatics is a non-profit making organization. Uh, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a professional body which is registered as per the registry uh, of Zimbabwe. Um, the, the institute is, is guided by the constitution which was uh, endorsed by the members uh, in August. So we use the constitution, that's our Bible actually, uh, we use the constitution to run our affairs. Um, Zimbabwe Institute of Geomatics is a member of SADAG Geomatics Forum. The SADAG Geomatics Forum is a forum whereby we have got the, 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 the geomatics institutes uh, in the southern region. So ZIG uh, is part of that, uh, that forum and it was actually one of the founder members of, the, of that same forum. Uh, we we have been also uh, been active with the FIG ARN Africa Regional Network, uh, where we attended uh, last year the the ARN in Botswana. We we went there in quite uh, our presence was filled because I think we had more than ten uh, delegates from from ZIG. Uh, we, we went to Botswana representing our institute. So we started the global uh, agenda last year by being part of the RIN, which is Africa Regional Network, under FIG. And we then also planned to say we need to send one delegate, at least, uh, to the Working Week. The, the Working Week is one event which is done uh, every year by FIG, the International Federation of Surveyors. <clears throat> so we, I, I went there on behalf of the Institute. And um, uh, one thing to, 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 to note is uh, FIG, has got uh, three networks, uh, which are the, the Young Surveyors Network, which is represented by our own Geomatics Youth Network, which has actually hosted me today on this forum. Um, then we have got the Africa Regional Network. Then we have got the Standards Network. So, so far, um, as ZIG, because as you are aware, one of the issues which uh, made the, the membership and the executive to send me to Vietnam was also to pursue our, our, our regularization of membership. Um, we, we had meetings with the FIG president, the boss was actually a new president coming in for 2019 uh, up to, that's 2019, 2021, up to 2022. So we've got a new FIG president. So 
um, we, we had to also follow up on our membership. We had uh, applied for membership with this international federation. So that was one of the issues which I went to, to Vietnam to attend to. So we were invited by uh, the FIG um, management, including the, 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 the director of FIG, uh, the vice president attended, as well as the, 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 the president of the federation. So I attended the meeting uh, which was discussing our issue of the membership. I'm happy also to announce to our members that finally uh, we, we are going to be joining FIG in 2020. Because what happens is when you apply for membership, you can only be incorporated at a, working, at a general assembly meeting. So because we were not recommended for approval before the general assembly, uh, well, we are most likely to get our membership according to the discussions which were done in that meeting in 2020 in Amsterdam. I believe uh, one of us yeah, from the institute will attend. And my hope is to say we need to have at least two people, either one from the ESCO or two or more from the ESCO and one or more from the youth network i think that's one of the things which we are also working as the executive uh, committee to say we need to find a way to say whenever we go for international events we need also to to include our our youth network so that they can also benchmark on international trends i was really uh, excited to see presentation which were done by the youth network uh, the international federation youth network and i'm also happy to say our youth network is actually making a mark at international level because um, their video, which was uh, the video of Idai, Cyclone Idai, on how Zig got involved in that um, in, the, in, the, in the cyclone aspect. Because as a, as a professional body, we were involved in trying to, to find a way to, 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 to play a role to solve the, 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 the issues concerning Cyclone Idai from a professional point of view. So our youth network did a video which was shaded at, at FIG. Our, I, I was really excited. And thank you so much, Youth Network, for the job well done. Uh, you've also helped us to, to make a mark at international level. I believe uh, this will continue going forward. So um, as I was actually trying to touch on, on aspect of international level, so we have taken the example of our Youth Network in terms of uh, showing the international community our involvement at national level, especially in, in issues like the disasters which we experienced in Zimbabwe with regard to Cyclone Idai. We did donate um, some items and we also did a video to show uh, our, our, our colleagues in, at international level how we got involved as geomatics professionals. So thank you so much, uh, the youth. You have also marketed us at international level with regard to uh, that video which we have shared with, with FIG. So I was saying, um, I want to quickly make sure that I utilize my 30 minutes and, and align myself to quickly explain our presence in the geomatics global community. Uh, initially, I had mentioned uh, where we are actually affiliated. We've got the SATA uh, Geomatics Forum. We've got the FIG ARN. We've got the FIG itself, which has not incorporated us, but we are still allowed to engage in terms of being part of their events until we are a full member, which I believe will happen in 2020. Um, just to quickly touch on uh, why we need to be having a presence uh, in, the, in, the, in the global community. The reason actually why we are utilizing FIG to be relevant at international community is because uh, FIG um, has got quite a number of uh, aspects which it can help us as a professional body to achieve our national goals as well as international goals. So basically, there is what is called a global agenda, uh, the global agenda in geomatics, which uh, we are also trying to align ourselves as ZIG. So that going forward, whenever we do our, 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 our roadmaps, we align ourselves uh, with the global agenda uh, in line with uh, what FIG views is what needs to be considered as we engage globally. So the, the reason why we, we, we need the presence at... Um, at international level is because the, the contribution of FIG, which is important to us as well as, a, as we are a professional body in Zimbabwe, is to try to see what is it that we benefit uh, from, from, from affiliating to these international bodies. The reasons why we, we are always trying uh, by all means to, to affiliate to international community is so that we can utilize various benefits which comes end in end with uh, networking, for example, um, being full members uh, of, of, of FIG and others. 
So one of the issues which we, 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 we want to utilize through international community is professional development. As well, we, we, are, we are going through some bit of hardships in Zimbabwe in terms of economic-wise. Obviously, we are not political, but we want to be honest to ourselves. We are having a quite a lot of challenges, especially with issues of data, issues of uh, getting jobs for our youth, issues of getting tenders for those who are running companies and all that. So we, we are lagging behind in terms of technology. Um, this is in line with professional development. So because you can't develop professionally when you are not exposed. So as ZIG, we want to find a way to expose our members so that at the end of the day, they are within the allowable international standards in terms of uh, ethics, in terms of conduct, in terms of even how we produce our products to our clients. Because at the end of the day, the institute is not only for members, but also for the clients or for the public. So I believe uh, we can achieve that by being visible uh, and, and having a presence at, at, at the global community through international organizations like FIG. Um, so from FIG or from the international uh, presence, we get uh, professional development by networking, by uh, uh, attending various presentations. We, 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 I did learn a lot uh, when I was in Vietnam, to be honest which I will also share because I was waiting for FIG to upload all those presentations on their website, which I will share in our, our various groups as well as website so that people can also be able to appreciate uh, the presentations which were done in, in, in Vietnam, in Hanoi there. So with regard to professional development, that's the reason why uh, we need to have our presence there. Then FIG also provide institutional development. So Apart from professional development, we can actually get help from FIG through developing our institute either at national level and as well as international. Because as you are aware, I think the youth have been uh, they are aware of this application for uh, grants, application for sponsorship to attend these working weeks and all that. So we've been limited uh, because of uh, lacking in full membership, which we are actually addressing and we believe it will be actually concluded in 2020. So in terms of institutional development, we have got aspects of, of education. Uh, they can actually chip in in our various institutions of learning, higher learning uh, through ZIC. Then we, they can also chip in in developing our institute in terms of the, 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 the development in that aspect. Then we also have the global development, which involves World Bank. I can see my colleague Simbarashi is mentioning about uh, issues of World Bank there. So we have got Professional development, we've got institutional development, we've got global development. So these are the three key aspects which we, we, we can utilize through our presence at international level. So with regard to global development, that's where we meet people like institutions like World Bank, non-governmental organizations, and also EU and all those other institutions so that at the end of the day, our institutes can actually be able to, be, to get funds. As you are aware, the rest of... Um, most of the, the countries in Africa, like Zambia, we've got Zambia, we've got Uganda. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to mention Africa. We've got Uganda, we've got Zambia. I think these are the case studies which are recent, where we are having the involvement of these international uh, uh, institutions like World Bank and other non-governmental organizations to help in terms of land reform, in terms of uh, land policies in our countries. As you are aware, um, we have got a challenge in Zimbabwe in terms of that as uh, institutes, uh, we are not being involved in, um, in, in, in land policy uh, frameworks, whereby we are not invited when our, our, our leaders uh, come up with these uh, land policies. So this is one of the issues which we want to address. But how do we address this? We address this by making ourselves relevant to, to, to our political leaders and to our national leaders by making sure that they understand our involvement in these aspects. So how do we go around this? We come from benchmarking at international level so that at the end of the day we can give them case studies. I have managed to prepare quite a lot of case studies which I'm, I'm going to share with the members uh, very soon after the, 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 the FIG website have uploaded some of them. Both. I didn't manage. It was a busy conference. It was one week but very very busy. It was really hectic. You had to attend because you know as you are aware there will be different rooms presenting different aspects. So obviously you can't attend all of them. So, but because I had the program of every presentation which was happening there, I, I, I had an opportunity to also try to find a way to get 
uh, contacts, business cards, and also information so that I can be able to follow up. I've managed to get some presentation from our vice president, Diana Duma, she's the FIG vice president. She has, all, she has started sending me some of the presentation today. I really appreciate for that. So I believe more presentation will be coming so that when we share on our website for, for our members, it will be easier because you'll be having all presentations which were there so that we can all benchmark from what uh, I, uh, we, we managed to experience in Hanoi uh, in, the, in the working week. So I was talking about the contribution of this presence by professional development, institutional development, then the global development, which involves all these other financiers uh, and what have you. So this is the reasons why it's very critical, especially for the youth, to make sure that as we go towards uh, improving our, our national issues, we need to be as, uh, look at global community as well, so that at the end of the day, whatever we do, we have a benchmark. We are, we are copying and, and improving. It's easier to copy and improve than to try to invent a wheel. So, as Zig, we are not going to invent new wheels, no. We are going to uh, make sure that we, 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 we benchmark what has already been done. And then, at the end of the day, you improve on, on those aspects. So, that's one of the issues which I wanted to highlight with regard to our presence at international community in line with the theme of our, our youth network as be their invite here today. So... Right. I also touched on the issue of what is it that ZIG wants to do to, to, to help it itself to align with the international community. Our presence in the Geomatics global community is supposed to be in line with the global agenda. It's important to understand the global agenda in Geomatics so that at the end of the day, whatever we are doing, we are doing it in line with what other uh, institutions the world over are trying to achieve. Uh, with regard to geomatics. These are issues of land policy. These are issues of um, improving uh, disaster management. Remember, remember we, we had challenges when this Itai, um, sorry, Itai, Cyclone Itai aspect, where we were caught on our way. Most of us, even professionals, we, we couldn't even map, we didn't have maps available for Shimani Money to be able to see how we can help. So we don't want to have such issues happening when institutions like ZIG are available. So ZIG needs to be proactive, and I believe we are going to be proactive and results-oriented. We are going to make sure that we work hand-in-hand -hand with our governments to make sure that certain things which we can actually avoid, you know, these natural disasters are there, but I think there are certain ways which we can do to, 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 to help our governments to, to, to improve on how we, we manage those disasters. So as ZIG, those are some of the issues which we are trying also to to, to, to see in global community how are other countries uh, uh, managing. You know, I, had, I attended a presentation where uh, somebody, a colleague from Haiti, he was presenting that uh, cyclones or national disasters, they happen almost every, every uh, week uh, in terms of not really heavy ones, but they have regular uh, natural disasters in Haiti. But those people are surviving, you know. Why are they surviving? They are surviving because geomaticians have managed to, 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 to come on board and come up with ways of saying, how do you monitor uh, earthquakes? How do you monitor damage? How do you monitor extent of damage? So these are the issues which we also want to benchmark in Zimbabwe so that at the end of the day, we, we, we improve and help our governments to, 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 to also uh, uh, be ready and proactive in, in terms of such disasters. So the, the global agenda has got issues like SDG. Uh, sustainable development goals. I think we are aware that there are 17. And the majority of those SDGs are in line with our geomatics uh, uh, profession. So, uh, like what uh, Simbarashim Nemer is saying, resilient through geomatics, I think those are some of the aspects which we, we need to actually benchmark from the global world. So, global community, sorry. So, we, we, in the global agenda, we've got the aspect of SDGs. These are the sustainable development goals, which are 17. And the majority of them um, sorry, I'll be checking on my time so that I don't go, I don't go around and, and, and take more time as I'm, I'm allocated 40 minutes by our youth network. So we've got the SDGs, we've got the World Awakes to Land. That is one of the FIG uh, agenda, global agenda there. Everyone now is now uh, aware of land. I think we can see South Africa is busy talking about land reform. We, we have done our own land reform. We don't want to talk much on whether it was a success or not, but we have already done the land reform. But we need to find a way to come in as professionals and improve on certain areas which need to be improved 
uh, especially from our political leaders, because obviously some of the uh, political leaders, it's not like it's deliberate. They are not aware, so we need to guide them accordingly as a profession and try to find a way to give them our input in terms of what we think should be done to improve aspects of land reform, aspect of land policies, basically. So this is where we are going to come in as Zig to say, let's guide uh, our, our national leaders on what needs to be done in terms of the geomatics profession, in terms of uh, um, land policies, in terms of disaster management issues and all that. So this is where we are going to come in, uh, uh, trying also to be in line with, with our global agenda, which is being uh, spearheaded by the International Federation of, uh, of, of, of Surveyors. Um, then, uh, so in the agenda for global, the, in the global agenda, sorry, in, in global agenda in geomatics, we've got the SDGs, we've got the world are, are works to land, which this is a very sensitive issue. And us as a professionals, we need to find a way to improve on how these land policies are crafted. So we are going to be able to be part of this process uh, in Zimbabwe and as well as uh, in, in the international community. Then we also have... Um, uh, as part of the agenda is good land governance. I think this le good land governance also touches a lot of issues concerning the policies, like I've mentioned there. Um, where would ZIG uh, come in in terms of land policies? Land policies cannot be concluded without ZIG. So that is actually going to be one of our issues. If you could actually go to our roadmap as ZIG, we have actually managed to put that on board to say we are not going to be left out. We are not going to. Uh, let lend, uh, to, to, to let uh, our, our leaders uh, ignore our presence at national level. So we are going to find our way to prove our relevance to, to our, our national leaders. So this is, uh, these are some of the issues which as we want to align ourselves to the global agenda. So it's very important that uh, in line with what the, 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 the topic for today from the youth to say, what is the relevance of, of, of ZIG? in the uh, global community with regard to geomatics. Right. So, to pursue all th these aspects concerning the global agenda, we, we want to make sure that we sponsor more members going to these platforms. So, I've been privileged to, to attend, I think, so far I've attended two, Helsinki, that was in 2017, that was in, in Finland. Then I've attended the Anoe one, which was there um, two weeks ago uh, in Vietnam. But, we need our presence. We need the presence of more members, either in the executive or in the youth network. That is something which we are going to make sure going forward, that our youth network is going to have a representation at, at, at international level in terms of these working weeks. Uh, we are going also to make sure that our youth network ex, um, are very active in the, in the uh, surveyors, uh, in the geomatics youth network. Because one thing which also was passed at the resolution of the General Assembly was to say um, the, the Geomatic Youth Network should be part of the deliberations of the General Assembly. So just before this uh, General Assembly, the Youth Network was outside the proceedings of the General Assembly of FIG. So from 2019 going forward, our Youth Network are going to be with us uh, as we meet for working weeks. So this is very important because it will make life easier for everybody. Because our youth network will be there, our, 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 general, our, our, our seniors in the profession will be there. So all of us will be able to have an opportunity to gather at one venue. It will also help us to network easily. So I believe going forward, um, we need to find a way to say, as we go and get our membership uh, in Amsterdam, we, we need also to, to go with a representative from the youth network and also representative from the entire profession if possible. So those are some of the things which we want to quickly work on so that at the end of the day um, we're going to make our, 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 our presence there in, in Amsterdam because the 2020 uh, FIG Working Week is in Amsterdam uh, and I, I believe we'll share the dates on our, 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 our various social groups and as well as the, 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 the website. So so in a nutshell, what I want, I'm trying to say is the presence of SIG is actually very critical. It is critical for benchmarking. It is critical also to put Zimbabwe on the map. We need all these financiers to also know our presence in terms of what we can do at national level and what we can do at international level. So 
Why do we need to push into uh, international uh, involvement? We need to push so that we can also be uh, part of the, 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 the various commissions. As you may be aware, uh, FIG has got 10 commissions, uh, which I cannot, I think my, my term is, is limited for me to, to give you information of the various commissions, but we will find a way to also post such kind of information on our website. So the 10 commissions which we have at FIG, we need representation there. Um, some of the commissions they were uh, land governance, uh, on, 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 on survey standards, engineering survey, and what have you. I've learned that from the small presentations which I've managed to, 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 to attend, that these commissions actually, if we have good presence, it will make our life easier to improve a lot of issues domestically. So as soon as we get our membership in Amsterdam, we are preparing ourselves to throw in our various uh, members, some of them who are PhD holders, graduates, technicians, students, and, 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 and professionals. We need them to actually be part of this commission so that from these commissions they bring on board all this knowledge which can help us in professional development, which can help us in, in the institutional development so that end of the day, ZIG makes a mark domestically and at international level. So this is uh, what we, we, are, we are going to do uh, as the ESCO and we are also going to share with our members in August uh, at our annual general meeting. Is there a way we are also having a, a, a conference on the 17th of, um, of, of August, I believe. Let me check my calendar quickly. We are going to have a, 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 no, the conference on the 16th. The conference is on the 16th on a Friday, the Smart City Conference. The theme is already there. We've already um, asked for papers. Then our AGM will be on Saturday on the 17th. So we are having a Smart City Conference, which we are also going to be involving the, 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 our political leaders as part of the conference. Then we'll be having an AGM on, 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 on Saturday. So all that information will be shared, uh, will be shared on our website and, 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 um, and, 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 and the, the social, social groups which we, we, we have. So basically, that, that, is, that is it. So we want to quickly go into the commission. We want to quickly go into the Africa Regional Network so that we can have somebody representing us there. We want our youth network, which I'm really impressed because the youth network is already there. They have made a mark. They have shared a video. They are already active. They were active in Botswana. They were active in Hanoi without them being there physically. So we, Ziggy, the future is Zig, uh, And I believe... Um, Going forward, we, we, we have made a mark. Imagine we had that working week, which we did last year. We are going to have another dramatics week again, where we are going to be having awareness to the public, where we are going to be appearing on ZTV, radio, all the newspapers, and, and, and we'll also be trying to have interviews. We'll also try to involve other stakeholders, like Department of Surveyor General, uh, Council of Land Surveyors, uh, other ministries, so that at the end of the day, the interviews will also involve other stakeholders, so that we speak with one voice. So with Zig, our future is bright. With Zig, Kenan is a few kilometers away from us. Uh, have a good afternoon. Thank you so much for having me. I believe um, we are all ready for the Geomatics um, uh, uh, Smart City Conference in August. We are also ready for, 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 for the, for the, for the um, AGM in August. Uh, as the current president, I'm really happy. I'm, I feel honored to be representing such a, an active group, which has got a, a new network, which is very vibrant, and an and exco, which is also vibrant. The membership, we are busy in our groups, especially WhatsApp. We talk every day, we share ideas, we believe going forward, we should continue doing that. And let's, let's register uh, on, on our website. Let's register so that all the members are on the website, so that when we share information, it goes to everybody. We want the Ziggy to go forward. Amanda, thank you.